I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling extra hateful today, feeling a little spicy, which is exactly why we're gonna watch I've Lost My Friends Because My Girlfriend's a Furry. I was raised a nice Catholic youth, okay? Furries didn't f exist when I was a child. I still can't wrap my small brain around the fact that people dress up in bipedal anthropomorphic mascot fursuits and engage in weird activity with each other. I will simply never understand it, so don't even try to explain it to me. And the clown world that we're living in wants us, the normal people, to accept this as just okay. Look, I just turned 26, and the older I get, the less tolerance I have for absolute asinine behavior, okay? You can do whatever you want behind closed doors. No! This is Demetrius. He fell in love with Jade, a furry. But Demetrius wasn't too fond on being with a furry. I know the, the furry phantom is something new to him. It's kind of like looking at a dog. No, it's not. Because my dog is sleeping in the f corner and it's nothing like that. And we're judged online because we make adult content with fursuits. Oh my god. <laughs> not only is she a furry, she has an OnlyFans and this mother f bangs her on camera in the fursuit. He's a dog f He's attracted to animals. They use litter boxes, bark, eat out of a dog bowl. And since Jade introduced him to the fairy world, he has dealt with some consequences. Friends, I don't really have any left from them finding out. Why is this fursuit like dummy thick down below? Why is it so bottom heavy, bro? Oh fuck, I think I'm starting to understand it now. <laughs> Today, they're breaking some news to his last friend. Furry is paying our bills because we're doing OnlyFans. Let's not pretend that this is not so fake and scripted. His last friend is just cheekily smirking on the side. He already knows they do OnlyFans. He probably subscribes. This is our room. I call it the dungeon. The dungeon is crazy. You already know it smells different in here. It's where we film all of our adult content in here. B what are those blurred out objects? Are those fucking rainbow unicorn dildos, bro? It should be called the kennel. No. And usually I let my subscribers... Oh, would you look at that? His fursona has heterochromia. You already know that's another like $3,000 to get two different color eyes pick what kind of content we do for the week. I'm Jade and this is my partner Demetrius and we're judged online because we make adult content with fursuits. You already know they're into some freak shit whenever they refer to their significant other or boyfriend as partner. I was in high school and I used to draw a bunch of like characters with hair and like human characteristics. So I got my first fursuit. I think it was 2020 when I graduated. Furries are just cosplayers. This is Velvet. She's a wolf dog. I was really shy in high school growing up and these characters give me a different personality and it makes me put myself out there more. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> I can't even do this uh, as as a joke. I can't even. Ruff, ruff. We're so fucking doomed, bro. I see myself as a extension when I have my fursuit on. I'm about to tell my boyfriend I'm a furry, so we're gonna see his reaction. A fursuit? What, what the hell's a fursuit? A furry? Yep. Yeah. And you're just now telling me. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't care. If my girlfriend ever hit me with, I'm a furry after like three years of dating, I'm defenestrating her. Out the window she goes. I had lived with a furry, so I, destiny is kind of how we met. My roommate, I was having a furry party at my first apartment about a year ago. Yeah. And it, I, I'm not very keen on the whole. You never wanna go band for band with a furry, okay? I'll tell you why. Fursuits alone are absolute racks, okay? And to illustrate my point, Bro has a pair of Rick Owen Jumbo Lace Ramones on. These puppies right here will cost you a thousand dollars. I didn't want to go out. I was stuck in my room. There was a bunch of furries in my apartment. People are just odd that I didn't want to hang out with very much. And she kind of forced her way into my room, but in a nice way. Like, you know, she didn't take no for an answer in the best way possible. Had a couple drinks, talked for a few hours, and then I think it was the next week we went on our first date. Guys will do anything for some mid uh art girl p I swear. Is very patient with me. I know the, the furry phantom is uh, something new to him. I mean, it's kind of like looking at a dog, but at getting used to <laughs> awkward moments for sure. <laughs> but it's 
like a version of her, but it's still Jade. She's in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. We moved into our first apartment, we realized how expensive rent was and how expensive just living in general was. You want the nice things in life? You want to be able to be unemployed, have nice clothes, have your rent paid for? Come here, come here. Dude, 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 there are people dumber and weirder than me doing laps around me at the bank, okay? This can't be, this can't be reality. <laughs> <laughs> Furries cannot have greater bags than the third eye. So I told him about how there is a couple other furry creators that do adult content and I was like, because I've already spent so much money on it. I would say, think over, what do you think? Like over $25,000. $25, and I was like, why not make money off of the items that I own now? And we kind of slowly got into it and it took him a while to like really understand what it was and accept that we would be doing adult content online. I'd say it doesn't really change our intimate life that much. I mean, of course, during content, she might be wearing a fursuit. It's one thing to be a furry and have an OnlyFans and make money. But on the other side of that, think about the people, the dudes, jerking off to furry OnlyFans content. <laughs> you cannot exist on a lower frequency vibration as a human. Always wearing so, one, yeah. I just gotta remember it's her behind it and not the mascot. And that doesn't mean I act like a dog, all right? Pretty normal, it's not weird, guys. It's really not weird. Sometimes when we're not filming, it still is fun. Yeah. 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 I and mean, we like to play around with it. I'd say what I was most unsure about at first was just response. I would have more respect for them if they were aware of the grift and weren't actually furries, but just leaned into the niche audience and made a bag. But I know that's not the case. <laughs> Maybe I'm one of the luckiest people on planet Earth who has a secure family structure, but this would not fly at the dinner table. I'm sorry. I would be kicked out of my family. How people would react, family, friends, you know, work. You know, things get around nowadays. Everyone talks about everything online. You're posing. Everything that social media paints them to be, a lot of it's not true. Weird, they use litter boxes, they bark, they eat out of a dog bowl. The majority, at least Jade, the people I've introduced or been introduced to have been pretty good. I think it's harmless. I have fun with it. I like making sure she's got content for her social media platforms and taking pictures. I'll even throw the first shoot on for a couple videos just because, you know, people like it, it gets views. I'm absolutely still attracted to Jay when she's in the fursuit, but I'm not attracted to the mask she's wearing. I'm attracted to the woman inside of the mask because that's who I fell in love with. <laughs> I'm attracted to the personality behind the mask. <laughs> How do you get over this bulging monstrosity staring into your soul? How we deal with the judgment from our dynamic is we capitalize from it. It's just boosting yeah. it more for us and it yeah. benefits us greatly. So I'm like, keep going, keep commenting. Yeah. I love it. This is literally paying our rent. All furries should be burned at the stake. <laughs> That's my burner account, sorry. <laughs> I'd be mad too if my girlfriend was only worth $6 a month. Well, actually it's 12, so. We get comments like, he's a dog I'm attracted to animals, I am not or he's attracted to animals because I wear my fursuit and obviously we do adult content in it. Not true. Dating a furry who's an OnlyFans girl has to be a fate worse than death. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, it is. Spot the lie. So at first when I started posting on social media, I had a few breakdowns from the comments, people calling me names, people body shaming me. But what really matters is when the support comes in from him and he helps me, he's there for me, you support me through everything. I'd say anybody that judges our relationship, look at yourself first. Hit me. I can take it. I look at myself in the mirror every single day, and I'm really happy. Because you see two people that are happy. People react to me in a very negative way in public. When teenagers come up to me, they'll be barking at me from across the street. You do this out in public? Or yelling something very negative across the street. But when you see like a little kid with their parents, Usually the parents will smile at me, and the kid will want a picture. So it can go either or sometimes. You made the kid what? Cry. Oh. Oh, what did you do? Friends, I don't really have any left from them finding out. The concern they had it mostly was just immaturity, not wanting to do their own research, just listening to what they've been brainwashed into believing is true. But like I said, why are we, <laughs> the viewer, 
made to seem like the crazy one. Oh yeah, let's put the onus on us to do our own research and understand the furry fucking community. No! Furries are not serious people, okay? They're just fucking not. If you really want to be a furry, go be a local mascot, okay? Keep it away from children. Keep it away from the public. Stop making it seem like it's normal behavior. I realized is that the people that are no longer in my life because of our life, I don't want my life anyways. My friend Cade's coming over, and we're going to talk to him about our relationship, see how he feels. He actually stuck around through everything after uh, a lot of other people didn't. I had some questions, I mean, obviously, because I don't know why. I'm just like a, I'm on the outside of this. But yeah. Just stuff like, what is it like? What is it, is it, do you think it might be different than being in a regular relationship? Yeah, I mean, it is different because, you know, he obviously wasn't a furry before. He still isn't, but I include him in a lot of my content, obviously. Mm -hmm. You enjoy it, right? Yeah. It's fun. I mean, yeah. Blink twice if you need help. He is being held hostage. Yeah, totally. I love being a furry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not weird at all. At first, I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's it's just day to day now. It's made it work. That's what everyone says at first. So how long do you plan on like being a furry or not really just being a furry, but actually actively dressed? I want to save and invest and hopefully quit in 10, 20 years, maybe, you know, I never know. Furry is paying our bills and then some because we're doing OnlyFans with it Yeah. together. Okay. And it makes good money? Um, it does really good, yeah. surprisingly. So we turn it into my, at least my full-time job. I honestly think it would be like... I need to do some research. I need to do some research right the fuck now. Jade and Demetrius. Let's see. Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, chill. <laughs> nah, bro. Dude, that's fucked. Oh my god, bro. I'm sorry. Dumb of us to not do the OnlyFans for, you know, at least another year or two, because, like, what it's making just in the first few months is absurd. Yeah. It's, like, more than most people make in a year. At this point, you're convincing me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, if it's making money, you got to do it sometimes. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. I'm so over this whole, well, if it's making money, do it. You know, you might as well, might as well cash in. No. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like making money in every way is equal. You're just moving up and all you're doing is going up. You guys are working together. You guys are growing together. It's an amazing thing to see. It's really cool. She's always supporting you and I like that. What a wholesome friend. Both of you are evolving. You're just ascending straight to the top. You love to see it. What the future holds for us too is hopefully just more success. Honestly, it's just helping us grow together. We work together, we learn together, we create together. It's great. We're both very patient with each other and very accepting no matter what. And I do eventually want to buy you a fursuit. Yes. I'm like excited. I'm gonna yeah. make him dress up with me. See, it's not that innocent. She wants to infiltrate his mind and turn him into a fucking furry. She wants to convert him. <laughs> uh. 